the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs this week joins its counterparts in the observance of the 21st Vaccination Week of the Americas from April 22nd to the 29th. The week-long global observance was launched here on Monday, April 22nd. National Immunization Manager Nus Tekla Jabatist said the slogan, Get Up To Date, Hashtag it vaccine counts is a call for collective action to protect people from vaccine preventable diseases. Nurse Batiste added that everyone everywhere can benefit from vaccination for good health and well being. This observance coincides with the World Health Organization 12th anniversary of World Immunization Week, emphasizing the protection that vaccines provide to individuals and their loved ones and stressing the importance for a long and healthy life. The goal is to create awareness about the vaccines that people of all ages need to receive, and in doing so, increase vaccine acceptance and uptake, which has been declining among children worldwide and more heavily in the Americas over the last decade. According to the World Health Organization, every year globally, millions of lives are saved through vaccines. However, the number of children who are unvaccinated or undervaccinated is close to 20 million. Country Program Specialist for the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, Mr. Ronald Hewitt, said the importance of vaccination cannot be overemphasized. Our region of the Americas was declared measles free in 2016. But unfortunately, the region now faces new measles outbreaks. St. Lucia is familiar with the vaccines received in childhood for polio, measles, mums, rubella, tetanus, diphtheria, whooping cough, hep B, pneumococcal diseases, tuberculosis, and chickenpox. More recently, the COVID-19 vaccine has been added to the vaccine schedule for adults, health workers, and our elderly citizens. I urge you all St. Lucians and residents, let us continue our tradition of vaccinating and protecting our children and our citizens. Get up, get out, get vaccinated. Each vaccine counts. Health Minister Honorable Moses Jabatist has given the thumbs up to the staff of the ministry for the many initiatives and programs being undertaken and has reassured the government's commitment to continuing to invest in strengthening the island's healthcare system towards achieving universal health coverage. You may have heard many things about universal health coverage over the last few months and I can guarantee you, you have only just started hearing about universal health coverage. In the budget, you will here of the allocations for universal health for certain aspects of universal health coverage and i'm excited about what is to come one of the critical components of the uhc is access to vaccines which will play a significant role in fostering a strong and resilient primary health care system therefore it is critical to use vaccines as a means of preventing many life-threatening diseases the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will be embarking on a major vaccination drive in several communities around the island. On Friday, April 28th, a health team will be at the grounds of the Grosley Catholic Church from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Similar activities will be held in other locations in the weeks ahead. From the Communication Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting.